there was one scenario that I forgot to mention in the previous video wherein I discussed what I think might be a bug I found in the Microsoft.ASP.NET.WebAPI.CORE's NuGet package and its contained libraries. And that corner case is this. I have my website running at 8088 and I have this web API that you're seeing the code for running at 49912. Now if I disallow this website, let's just change this to 8089 or better yet, let me change this to my own website. I'm allowing requests just from my website and if I expect a custom header and if the client, a client that is not whitelisted, this client sends in a custom header, then let's see what happens. got this website running now this website is disallowed so ideally it should first try and send because it's sending a custom header it should first try and make an options request an options method request to the server the server should then check that this is not an allowed origin so it should send a request a response header to uh, as a response to the options request that is appropriate that says sorry you can't call me and then the browser should not make the post request I just wanted to cover that this is okay this functionality in the library is okay that's what we're going to see it will first make an options request and then it won't make a post request and this is what I observed earlier and I hope that's what it turns out to be so let me just press this button you see it sends the options request and gets a bad request response let's look at the request headers it tells it asks the server can I send you an X ping pong header with a post method from this origin and the server says no the allowed origins doesn't I mean I don't have anything for you uh, there's two or three headers. One is for allowed origins, one is for allowed methods, and one is for allowed headers. It doesn't send any of those. It sends back a 400 back, bad request. So the browser doesn't make the subsequent post request. So this is the case where it's okay. Uh, so just to summarize, the error is if I do not specify any headers, from the client and then I run this even if this is a disallowed domain the request will go through let's go back to the API and make sure that the breakpoint is set I'm still expecting a custom header and the only allowed domain is satyaish.net but the client is at 8088 this website is at 8088 and it is not sending any custom headers so no options request will be made and if when no options request is made a, a post request will directly be made and it will go through in the on the server side it will it'll hit the API let's run the website I'll reload the website again I'll just make sure that I have the new sources. Yes, I have the new source without the headers. Let me run this. And I see that no options request was made. A direct post request was made, which hit the API endpoint, which ran successfully and I got a successful response from the API it incremented the counter 
but the browser will pretend it'll pretend that the request didn't go through successfully and it'll hide this result from the script so your script ends up in this so once again to summarize the error if the client does not send a custom header then regardless of whether the client is whitelisted or not the request goes through on the server